Are you excited? I can tell how excited you are. I'm excited too. Are you ready for some good news? First up, an inventive new use of some old technology has enabled scientists to make filtered water without a filter. A team at the Princeton School of Engineering and Applied Science has created a system that removes contaminants from water using carbon dioxide. CO2 is injected into water that is moving through a narrow channel. The CO2 increases the acidity of the water, creating ions. As the ions move through the water, they create an electric field which draws contaminant particles in the water to one side of the channel. The channel then splits in two, with water containing the contaminants flowing into one branch while clean water flows into the other. The filtered water is then exposed to air to allow CO2 levels to return to normal so that the end result is not carbonated water. The team that developed this method believes it could be the basis for low-cost portable or at-home water filtration systems and could also be used to supplement filtration at desalinization plants, which would reduce the need for water to be treated with additional chemicals. The paper on this filterless water filtration system is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, a big step forward has been taken in the creation of the tiny cellular structures known as organoids. These particular organoids are modeled after human lungs. They're created from pluripotent stem cells, are small enough to be studied in a petri dish, but can be used to recreate the features of an actual full-sized lung. Scientists have known how to culture organoids since the late 1980s, but techniques have greatly improved in the last decade or so. These lung organoids, created by researchers at Columbia University Medical Center, are the first of their kind to feature structures equivalent to branching airways and alveoli, the tiny air sacs in our lungs. Using the organoids, researchers can create models of diseases to study how they progress and affect lung tissue, and to test drugs. So far, they've been used to model respiratory syncytial virus infection and pulmonary fibrosis, a condition that kills tens of thousands of people every year. More effective treatments for those and other devastating lung conditions would be very good news indeed. The paper on these lung organoids is published in the journal Nature Cell Biology. And finally, researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have come up with a new low-cost method that can transform virtually any solid surface into a touchpad. It's called electric, and it works by applying an electrically conductive material to a surface, then attaching a series of electrodes that create an electric field on the surface. The electric field is capable of detecting the position of a finger touching the surface, and there you go, instant touchpad interface. Well, not instant, but you know what I'm saying. What makes the electric process truly noteworthy is that the electrically conductive material can be applied with no more difficulty than applying a layer of spray paint. At the moment, the touchpad interfaces created using electric aren't quite as accurate as more sophisticated devices, but they are accurate enough to use the touchpad surface to create switches and sliders. That loss of precision is made up for in low cost and versatility. Electric can transform a wall, a steering wheel, the body of a guitar, almost any solid surface you can think of into a touchpad. Carnegie Mellon's Future Interfaces Group presented Electric last week at the Conference on Human Factors in Computing Systems in Denver, Colorado. And now we can see that your initial excitement was completely justified. Adi. Oh, hi. I'll just finish up. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Anyway, there's a new method of filtering water that doesn't even need a filter. New organoids realistically model lungs despite being small enough to fit in a petri dish and a new technology can transform virtually any solid surface into a touchpad interface. That's the good news. 
Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.